Okay, so it being four o'clock, uh, yes, four o'clock on uh, Monday, October 1st, I'll call to order the regular meeting of the Committee on City Services. And I can ask the Administrative Assistant, Laura Petzler, please, to call the roll. Sure. Councillor Carney. Present. Councillor Labarge. Present. Councillor Bidwell. Here. And Councillor Nash. Here. Thank you. And um, I see that there is no public comment today. I'll ask if there is a motion <clears throat> to approve the minutes of seven, September 17th. Move to approve. Second. Okay, moved and approved, moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, that motion carries. And then we have a brief meeting today as we have the four appointees before us. Uh, the first one on our list is an appointment <clears throat> excuse me, a reappointment <clears throat> to the Agricultural Commission of Richard Jeske. Um, I spoke to Richard. Um, he has been on the Agricultural Commission since its founding in 2006 is what we, what we believe. Mm -hmm. I do remember when he was first named, so I, I mean I know that time has come around for, for being reappointed. But um, he serves a, an important um, role on the on the commission, um, as do some others. But his is specifically as a hay and uh, straw producer, has lived on the corner of um, of Bridge Road, uh, going down to Sheldon by Sheldon Field, all of his uh, 69 years, and um, has uh, important. Uh, voice to bring to that to that commission. He brought up a couple of issues that he thought that uh, other kind of larger scale farmers are dealing with with regards to the stormwater management and things like that. Where you know there's been some sense on their part that um, those meadows and fields bear the brunt of any flooding that they have, and there's you know concern that maybe they're also you know, bearing more of the cost of the stormwater. But those are some things that have come up in some of their conversations, he said, on Agricultural Commission. He also had a few other comments to me about other items that we as a city council are working on, but I'll leave those to another date. What I would do is ask if someone could offer a motion for a positive recommendation of Richard Jasky. So moved. Second. Okay, moved and second to send the name Richard Jasky with a positive recommendation to the full council for appoint reappointment to the Agricultural Commission. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, that motion passes. Thank you. And next, Susan Lofthouse. Yes. Um, it was a pleasure to talk with Susan. Um, she feels that it would be a great pleasure to serve on the City of Northampton Public Shade Tree Commission because she cares deeply about our city and about the critical role public shade trees play in making Northampton a fantastic place. She states they clean our air and water, they reduce storm runoff, reduce energy costs, improve economic vibrancy, promote physical activity and health in trees generally, improve our sense of well-being and pride in our community. I want to work protecting and advocating for our city trees. I'm committed to our city trees as a founding member and the president of Tree Northampton Inc., a private citizen group dedicated to promoting ecological stewardship of Northampton, Mass. Through education, advocacy, and volunteer participation in collaboration with the Northampton Tree Warden, Richard C. Pasoletti, Jr., and the Northampton Public Shade Tree Commission. I've mobilized hundreds of volunteers for projects large and small, including the South Street <coughs> Corridor project, the Forest Library project, Arbor Day plantings, and tree giveaways, as well as dozens of smaller efforts in all wards of the city. I've attended the commission meetings for a few years now in order to facilitate in communications between citizens, volunteers, and commissioners. And along the way, I've learned a lot about the business before it. In addition to my demonstrated commitment and my deepening knowledge of the commission goals and challenges, I offer 
the perspective of citizens volunteers who are dedicating thousands of hours to our city trees each year. And she is, hopefully, would like to thank us for considering her application to be on the service on the North Bay Public Shade Tree Commission. I would like to make a recommendation to full city council. Okay, it's been moved to send the name of Susan Lofthouse with a positive recommendation. Is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor of sending? Aye. 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 Okay, uh, it's uh, unanimous. That name goes with a positive recommendation to the full council for appointment to the Public Shade Tree Commission. Thank you. And then we have Aiden Maynard. Yes, I spoke with Aiden. I first, um, first met Aiden when we served on the Zoning Revisions Committee. Council Nash was an esteemed member of that committee too. He's, he's, um, he's uh, an energy efficiency, energy conservation expert. Uh, has been working in that field for many years. And he served on um, energy sustainability for about five years. And he resigned last October. Uh, his daughter was diagnosed with leukemia. She's bounced back and doing very well. She's a kindergartner at Jackson Street School. Um, and so he's ready to jump back in. And he clearly has a lot to contribute to the work of the of the commission, uh, so I would uh, make a motion that we pass on a positive recommendation for Aiden Maynard. Second. Moved and seconded to send the name of Aiden Maynard with a positive recommendation to the full city council for appointment to the Energy and Sustainability Commission. All those in favor? Aye. 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 That's unanimous. Thank you. And finally, we have <coughs> Devin Bruce. And that is me. Okay. So, um, uh, so what's great is having a candidate where all you have to do is Google their name and you get all sorts of wonderful information. <laughs> and, um, and I even have a Gazette article here. Uh, uh, Devin, this is from last uh, spring. Devin Bridge received the Chairman's Award from the National Transportation and Safety Board for her significant contributions to the field during an April 26th ceremony in Washington, D.C. Uh, Bruce works remotely from Northampton as a human factors engineer for the board specializing in human error. Since joining the agency in 1996, she has investigated and made recommendations on high profile aviation, marine, and highway crashes. Her work involves accepting investigative assignments through the board's Office of Highway Safety. Uh, so her title there is as a project manager for NTSB, and um, she's uh, worked on, there was that panel falling in the big dig about, I don't know, a decade or so, she was involved with that. There was the accident involving uh, the, um, the, the uh, person from N SNL on, with a Walmart truck. She was part of that, and then there was more recently, there was a, um, that had to do with a, uh, a self-driving car self hitting a car in Florida. And, and, um, and so these are the expertise that are gonna be coming to uh, the, uh, the TPC um, if, if she's approved. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to it because I've been hounding her for about four or five months now and um, and that she's hopefully retiring from this, where she's talking about retiring, and um, that will, um, that's, that's been the catch. And she's now able to step away from all of this and bring her expertise to us. Oh, and one more thing, she, she served on the, the planning board for yes, many years, and, she, and also was the chair. And she was a terrific chair. I, nobody ran you know, a more effective planning board meeting than, than Devin. So anyway, I would like to ask that we send her name forward with a positive recommendation. I'll back. second that. Okay, moved and seconded, and I just want to add some comments because I also worked with Devin when I was chair of Transportation and Parking. She was on the, on the Transportation and Parking Commission, her first service. She had recently moved to Northampton and was immediately um, tapped. I'm not sure exactly how. She, I think she just put in an application, but 
she did great service on that committee before she moved over to the planning board. And I think even for a while, was the representative from the planning board on the um, TPC. Sense. So yeah, she's been long-standing great service to the city. So all those in favor of sending a positive recommendation for Devin Bruce to the Transportation Parking Commission? Aye. 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 And that carries. <laughs> so um, that's all of the appointments we had. I will point out that at our last meeting we discussed some possible follow-ups, one that would be an update on paving and a continued conversation. Um, a few of us ran into the mayor a few days later who um, indicated that he plans to bring an update to the city council. I don't know if it's, the, I didn't see it on the, on the meeting. I think if he does, it would be under just mayor's, it's not on the agenda that I saw, but he plans, he said in October. Now he's <coughs> saying it's the second meeting in October because I contacted them when I was putting the agenda together and they were saying they're not quite ready to bring it forward yet. I think they are also the coming in to do um, an update on Perchburg Road also at the same time. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, their thought as well was that it's better for an update like that to be also televised and something that, you know, the general public can see and before the whole council. So the next step, I think, was we, we the other options we talked about were speaking to Meredith O'Leary about having an update on the opioid crisis and um, also speaking to um, Pam Powers about um, stuff about the elections. However, our next committee meeting is the day before the November election, so I don't think asking Pam would be relevant for that meeting. <clears throat> I'll see if she could maybe come in December, and in the meanwhile, see if I can get um, confirmation from Mary Hilary. Excellent. Okay. Great. Okay, I know Councilor Labage has to get off to a, a wait, and so I'll ask if there's no other business for a motion. I would move it. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank Sorry. you.